What's up, new cover lovers? It's the Coverboy Chronicles, and it's of course the Coverboy. <laughs> right now, I am doing a ooh 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 ooh. There we go. <laughs> I am doing a review of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, no, baby, I am not a stud dressed or a girl dressed up like a boy. I am really a boy have the testicles and balls to prove it. <clears throat> but anyway, that's not what these drag queens had to talk about in the Untuck Lounge or any of that nature. So first off, I would just like to say, um, Rue, for you to come up with this marvelous, wonderful well, for you to come up with this wonderful, marvelous show and just Give all of us femboys or whatever the case may be, because I have my moments. Like, I like being a boy, but I also like being, you know, feminine sometimes. It is, it does curb my enthusiasm, I guess you would say. Um, or tickle my fancy, as you would think. Um, I, I, I do, I do enjoy it, but like for a pioneer like RuPaul's, like, uh, just, Oh my goodness. Now this, like, I was, I promoted this show before. I've never actually done a RuPaul's Drag Race review. So, <coughs> hold on to your tightly tucked underwear, honey, because I'm going to round it all up for you in this absolutely fabulous review. So, First off, let me go ahead and say that the Reunited episode was absolutely fantastic. I want to give it up for the absolutely amazing Scruff Pit Crew. <laughs> love the damn Scruff Pit Crew. Okay, got it. Just love that. And then that opener, girl, you better get that money, girl. Get that money. That's exactly, it. open up all them checks for other people, make you open up some checkbooks for yourself qu real quick, fast, and in a hurry, you better know it. So, it's time now for my top five, out of the top five. <laughs> so, we'll start with Vivacious. I felt like she was just the overall mother of the, uh, of this season. Like, there's always one, um, drag that was, that's there that just knows so much and you can learn so much from them and, like, <coughs> I know that, like, Vivacious is definitely one of the ones that you, I know you can learn a lot from because she's been doing this for so, some odd years and she's got that New York edge and she's, it's very Paris, it's very Paris is burning with uh, a little mix with the birdcage in her own New York stylistic way. It's like got so many different styles and I love it. Just love all of it. Um... Keep doing what you're doing, and tell Onesha, girl, you better behave, because clearly, she's not the only one that's fabulous. Um, <clears throat> who else do I have to say? Oh, she a gun. Honestly, if, you know, it wouldn't be such a, 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 a fish out of water, I would definitely, definitely, I would wife her. That's how fine. I'm like so secure in my sexuality and loving men so much that I could say that like Gia Gunn as a woman is a bad bitch and I would wife her down completely, 100%. Love the fuck out of her. She's the lady in the tank, honey, because she's 100% fish, girl. Hopefully she's not dead. <laughs> Um, let's see. April Carry On. I, 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 honestly, looking at her, uh, after pics, I wish she had a stage just to see how it would have worked for her, you know? And, um, Jocelyn Fox. Uh, her interview with Cher. 
uh, her uh, her interview with Cher's child, her Cher's uh, seed. I feel as if like that makeup, that contour, like all of that. <coughs> she just she was over she was overbooked on that makeup. Like that makeup was round the clock too much. I was two seconds from finding her, but I decided that I wasn't going to. So, um, yeah, I fought, I fought against that one. Um, overall, I loved her look, and regardless of her doing sexy or this, that, and third, girl, you still a bad bitch. I love it. You are sickening. Um, Trinity K. Bonet. I felt like, honestly, she was like the under, the under two. The one that you wouldn't expect to do well. And she did freaking amaze balls. And, like, for her to make it as far as she did, and just, she, she rocked it. Now, those are the five drag queens that I bitched about it on, um, the online polls and whatnot. So yeah, I kind of had my moment. <clears throat> but the top five were nothing but sh uh, sheer success, and th I just I, I have to agree with this season. Like starting with number five, the Miss Congeniality herself, Miss Benda Lacram. Like I felt like honestly she should have at least made it to top three. But then again, like, all of the top five, like, it was so freaking hard to pick this season. Like, it was really jaw-dropping because, like, all of them had amazingly great talent. Um, let's see. I, I, I loved her aesthetic. I loved her, um, in Snatch Game. I loved her, uh, in the beginning from Jump to from start to finish. Loved her from start to finish. I actually love the entire top five from start to finish. Like, this just does not get easy for me. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I guess I have to say something nice about all of you girls now, don't I? Let me make this short and sweet. See, uh, the way you guys know it right. Okay, so Darian Lake. These cool waters. I want to say for one. Because I always be pushing for the big girls because I used to, I know I don't look like I weigh over a buck or five ever in my life, but I have all of you girls to know. I've weighed 200 pounds, clocked it, and came right back down to a good size that I felt comfortable with. And so, therefore, I know if I can do it, you can do it too, honey. But... For the big girls who want to keep it pushing and keep it rocking. You know, Monique said, love yourself, bitch. And she got up there both seasons of the BET Awards, hosted it, and did shut it the fuck down. And that's why she is known as one of the best hosts of the BET Awards to this day. How you doing? So, get in. Um, I felt like... uh. For Darian Lake to have made it to the top four, she's like one of the first. I think she is the first, but I wouldn't quote me. But I do believe she's like one of the first, like, big girl drag queens to make it to the top five, like, close to top three ish material. Like, she was number four, so she was, like, literally about to be a top three contestant. Uh, <clears throat> Courtney Act. Like, I felt like, honestly, she was, like, already a drag superstar. Like, she was, uh, she just needed to be official, if that's, if that makes any sense. I don't think, cause th but that's why I was like, Courtney Act, like, she's already a drag superstar, like, that, how is that fair? I thought this was, no shade, no shade. I swore that this was an amateur contest. You know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to read anybody. Yes, I do have on the reading glasses, but I'm not reading anyone, I swear. I just, I'm trying to understand, like, 
what's the what is the Degaga? But I lived for her. I lived for Courtney Act. I lived for her. I just I wish she wasn't so harsh. That's the only thing. I just wish she wasn't so harsh. Um Adore Delano. Like, oh my god. I adore you. Like to the point where I am like seriously thinking about doing a review on you when you drop that album out which actually I believe is out now so it, I, no I know it's on um, available on iTunes I don't know if it's available on that uh, yet anywho <coughs> oh I know RuPaul's is RuPaul's is on um, uh, sales and it's on iTunes bitch get it either way the cookie crab move um, just a quick plug. Then I just wanted to uh, say, other than adore, like I, I I love the fact that her and her mom have had like this this these moments. I love I love RuPaul. Like he 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 just ma he brings families together. He makes a whole new family and like. It's like one of those safe gay families that you don't have to feel. That's that's like for another story. I'm not gonna tell y'all all the stories of me, but just know it's 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 some stories in there. <coughs> Bianca Del Rio, I felt like you were like the shady lady. Like even though you won, she won. She was the shadiest lady with the shadiest pumps, with the shadiest makeup, and the shadiest hairdo, with the shadiest dress. Like, like all, like all, ugh, all through this whole thing. Like this woman was just funny, and she just kept it going. And honestly, I hope this woman like has like a big stand up thing in Vegas. Broadway, like something. Homegirl needs that. That'd be so sickening for her. So, um, <clears throat> I think I've said a lot of nice things about you, lovely ladies. What else do I have to say? Oh, my cover boy comment. Um, uh, it is, it's a, it's a damn good thing to be a homosexual nowadays because we're we're having a lot of great changes of events so I will say that Ed and RuPaul is an ordained uh, minister now so like ordain, ordained priest he can marry people now so um I just I feel like I hope things get better for us you know, I really do. I hope things get better for us because it's a different time, man. Hope things get better. So, with that, <coughs> be sure to, um, oh, do this Cover Lovers poll. My Cover Lovers poll is what do you think is going to be done? Because RuPaul has done basically every type of look. RuPaul has basically came up with every type of challenge what is he going to come up with next for season 7 of RuPaul's Drag Race so what do you throw some ideas out to the universe you guys let me know so <coughs> tweet the show new cover lovers cover boy chronicles my like page my Facebook my Twitter my Instagram be sure to like comments and y'all know what to do subscribe to the spirit soul star my youtube channel and let me know how outrageously funny this show was for you okay okay and let me know if i t did the shade or was just doing the real giving you guys the real team all right you guys see you on the next show bye